Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I am back with another voiceover. Let's get into it. So I have my A5 Buffalo Plaid planner here. It is an A5 Agenda 52 planner. And I'm just going to do a, a little more setup work in it. And I decided to turn the camera on and bring you along with me. So I'm going to clean out this front pocket. I had some washi cards from Simply Gilded in there. And I still had the packaging in the clear pocket. But when I took the clear pocket packaging out, I discovered that it was the same size as the sampler sheet from Simply Gilded. So I decided to slip both of those back in the pocket so that the Simply Gilded sampler sheet would be what it was showing and act as a bit of deco. I also previously went ahead and punched the four by six journaling card that I got from Simply Gilded and put it in the planner. And those journaling cards are also referred to as dashboards, um, but you'll hear me call them journaling cards because originally when I started into the stationery and planning stuff, that's what they were called. And I also found this Santa's belt bow clip on my desk when I was cleaning off my desk and I decided instead of putting it away I would go ahead and put it in one of the pockets since Christmas is right around the corner. I have a printable buffalo plaid pattern available in the shop on my website at scrapcraftastic.com so I did print it and I printed it two different ways. I enlarged it on one side of the cardstock. I printed on cardstock and then I reduced the pattern on the other side. So essentially I have a piece of double-sided scrapbook paper that I can use and I'm going to be using it to fill those clear pockets. In the top pocket I also have a piece of the faux acetate that I showed how to make in a previous video. I will link to that in the iCard up above. So I'm going to measure to see what size I need to trim my paper down to to fit in the top pocket and the space measures three by four and a quarter. So I'm going to get out my paper trimmer and first I'm going to trim off some of the border. And then I'm going to start trimming down the cardstock to the size that I need. So here I'm testing it to make sure that it will actually fit in the pocket and it slides right in there. So I have pattern on the front and back either way it goes. So I'm also going to measure those middle pockets. They are two by two. So I'm going to use this scrap piece. Um, that wasn't quite long enough to fit in the bottom pocket to make the two by two squares. So I'm just gonna place those in the pockets. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the stickies over to the front pocket. I'm really gonna have to stuff those down into there but I'm going to come up with some way to store the three by three sticky notes in a planner because right now it's a little difficult unless you just tear them off and stick them on a dashboard, which I really don't like doing that. So here I was checking to see what the backside looks like because I didn't really cut the pattern with the backside in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and flip them around and place them back in the pockets in a way that looks best on the back side too. So I mean, it's not perfect, but it kind of flows a little bit and you still have that Buffalo plaid vibe on that side. So here I'm gonna work on the bottom pocket, go ahead and trim my paper down to three by four and a quarter.
and slide that into the pocket. Again, checking the back to make sure that I have the pattern placed the best way possible. I even played around with putting the small print on the back since you really can't see it on the front, but I think the larger print works better. And here I'm just taking out the sticky notes to see how it looks without anything in the pockets. So that so far is the front of the planner. And I've also put the December inserts in. These inserts are printable. They are dated inserts available to Scrapcraftastic patron elites. This is the vertical version. There is also a horizontal version. These are released each month prior to the month that they're for. So December was released on November 10th. And then this is an example of how I've decorated some of the inserts. So that is everything that I wanted to do in this planner for now. I will be back to do more. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads visit my other channel journal life's journey for craft videos and junk journals you can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com if you have any comments or questions please leave them below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye